Welcome back. We are talking with Glenn Hutchins this weekend as the markets rally into new record territory. We are looking for opportunities. And, and Glenn, you are really a titan when it comes to investing. Uh, we know your background. <laughs> I'll quarrel with that, but it's go ahead. It's true. Um, <laughs> particularly when it comes to financial services and technology. And your, your relatively new firm, North Island, um, is, is scaling that up, uh, acquiring companies, technology used in financial services. Where are you finding opportunity? Tell us what you're doing now. Well, what, what we're doing is building out five platform companies in scale businesses that operate at the intersection of financial services and technology. The first uh, investment was a trading uh, technologies company called Virtu. And we um, uh, infused capital into Virtu to allow it to buy uh, Knight Capital. Uh, and we're combining the two companies and creating one of the world's largest electronic market makers. That's been a. That's they the were already incredibly successful, Virtu. Now, with, with your help, with, well, with Knight, they're then, scaling up. We're happy to be helpful. It was bu it built by uh, Vinnie Viola and run yes. by Doug Sifu. My partner, Bob Greifeld, is, is the chairman. So it's a, it's a, it takes a village. It's a team effort. But. Um, the uh, and so we believe that has and, and what that is is a company with cutting edge technology, high frequency trading technology pointed in the right direction, which is market making. And it, it connects to, to I think 270 electric markets that trade assets electronically all around the world. I don't think they've ever had a down day, Virtu. Well, they had very few. <laughs> very, very few or many. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that in my life, yeah. a firm not having a down it's day. A, it's a, you know, Vinny and Doug have built a phenomenal business. Yes, they have. Uh, and we're very pleased to be their partners. Uh, and then we're, gonna, we're building out three to four other of those platforms, which will be in other segments of financial markets infrastructure, such as uh, software, uh, payments, uh, and other, other verticals like that. And the idea is it's not a private equity fund. It's five separate companies that we will hold and manage for very long periods of time, operating at scale at the intersection of financial services and technology. Almost like a holding company. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so when you look at the industry, financial services and technology, how does it change in the coming five years? T tell us how it grows differently well, than what we've seen. Well, there, there are massive changes. And one of the, the um, in, 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 induced mostly, not exclusively, but mostly by technology. So financial services has, from the beginning of time, been an industry most susceptible to technological disruption because almost everything that it does can be digitized, right? And so the, um, and now with this massive pace of technological change where you have the um, uh, mobility, right? So a lot of the, the things people do in terms of their financial services, tech life can be done on these devices anywhere in the world they want where you have, you're introducing artificial intelligence uh, and later um, a quantum computing into the cloud. So you can have a lot of analytics and other kinds of very intensive kind of activities happening there. Um, where you are also um, seeing uh, significant advances in the way in which we compute so that you address your computing very differently with augmented reality, artificial reality. People can, can have consultations with financial advisors kind of virtually and, oh, wow. and get all. And so the whole, and then high frequency trading technologies, of course, being used not for arbitrage purposes, but for market making. All of these changes in the way in which we work with our technology and what our technology does for us will hit very early on financial services and fundamentally transform the business. And that's not to mention the digital currency and Bitcoin and blockchain technologies we were talking about earlier, right. which would be an important part of this. So what you want to do is to be, is to, our view is to find a segment that will be fundamentally disrupted by this, harness one of the cutting edge technologies for competitive advantage, and then use it to build a business for the longer term. So it, it, within financial services or? Within financial services defined very broadly. Okay. Because the, the main thing which we're thinking about in our business is we only want to operate in areas where we have, or Bob Greifeld and I have fundamental domain expertise and in which we can select a very small number of businesses in which to concentrate our risk and focus our management attention.